Welcome to this Automation World video podcast sponsored by Schneider Electric. This podcast is focused on what you need to know about the current state of cloud-based automation software. I'm David Greenfield, Director of Content at Automation World, and joining me for this discussion is Brian Leonard, Product Manager for Wonderware Dev Studio Online from Schneider Electric. Now, adapting existing software products for use in the cloud is one of the biggest trends in the automation industry today. Yet industry as a whole is still implementing cloud-based applications slowly. But it's clear from the general trend across technologies that cloud-based software is the future for many, if not most, of the applications currently used on-premise. So considering this divergence, that is, technology suppliers racing to adapt their products for the cloud while users slowly adopt these technologies, what do you see, Brian, as being the key business imperatives to the adoption of new industrial technologies, whether they're cloud-based or not? So the business imperatives that drive technology, I think, are things that bring about efficiencies. Um, everybody always wants to look for something new and more efficient to drive the cost down to, to run manufacturing. So even though users are moving slowly toward cloud computing, it remains one of the hottest topics in industrial automation. The interest is definitely there, even if it hasn't yet been reflected via large amounts of actual applications. Given that, what suggestions do you have for customers looking to move some of their applications to the cloud? So cl cloud-based solutions are the, the latest trend in technology. Well, one of the things that a cloud-based solution offers is to be able to replicate an entire system within the cloud very easily and quickly. Um, and by doing that, it enables a more collaborative environment where you can have not just one engineer or one set of engineers, but you can have a global set of engineers working on a project or maintaining an existing project very easily and very quickly um, with very low cost. So this cloud-based collaborative development environment has been adopted by some industrial markets out there. For example, the water industry. Uh, a user of ours has developed a whole industrial pack that's designed to go out into these water markets and give people an example and give their end customers examples of how they can implement our software within the water industry very efficiently. And it can be done on a global scale. We have developers in Singapore, and in India, all developing this common set of industrial packs, and they go to, the, go to their customers with this solution that uh, can be adapted to any number of industries. Now, whenever cloud computing is brought up, so are the security concerns. But a recurring issue across industries when it comes to security is the trade-off between having too little security and having too much security where people can't perform their jobs adequately because of the impacts to the systems they're using. So how do you handle these two opposing approaches? Well, I think we need to strike a balance between too much and too little security. Uh, we've seen, and coming from a tech support standpoint, we've seen some issues that have caused because of the fact that there's just too much security and it really impedes their actual workflow of the customers and then within the internal users within the company. And we do our best to try to have standards and suggestions that, that we've come up with that let our software work more efficiently and we try to instill that into our customers to say, look, these are the things that we believe are the most efficient use of security measures. What about the differences among industries when it comes to cybersecurity? Uh, different industries have different threats that are posed to them. Uh, what we've gone around is being able to make our system adaptable. We realize that security is a major issue, and we try to work with our customers to come up with best, better solutions for their security models. We offer suggestions based off of our own internal tests that we've actually interfaced with with third-party companies like Silence that go in and actually do cyber test, cyber security testing to come up with these best practice solutions that we can send to customers. Okay, so to wrap things up, Brian, tell me, how does Wonderware software specifically approach the development of cloud-based software? So with Wonderware software, and Wonderware in general, we like to be a driver in the market. And the cloud-based solutions are just another realm that we want to get into and drive the market. And we believe that we are with the products that we're offering now. Like uh, with our development studio that we're going to put out in the cloud, Alarm Advisor, and Wonderware Online, we're just making things a lot easier and a lot more efficient. We're not just taking our software and putting it in the cloud just to say that it's in the cloud. We're actually changing the way that people interface with our software and interface with their infrastructures in a much more efficient way. Okay, well thank you Brian, and thank you for joining us. For more information, visit the website shown here.